Alright guys, so this is going to be my second video in the Artist Resin Sculptors um, All About Video uh, playlist, I guess you're going to call it, that I'm going to be doing. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you for everyone who has sent in ideas and everything. Please keep commenting, um, liking, and sharing. I know a lot of people have been like, you know, kind of on the fence about following on YouTube because I do have spells on YouTube where I don't post for like a long period of time, but I am going to try and be getting more um, active with YouTube and staying more consistent with posting videos. I am also going to hold my next giveaway here on YouTube, so important to be subscribed for that. So the next uh, sculptor we are going to go over is Sarah Rose. Sarah Rose is one of my favorite sculptors, if you can't already tell, if you are not aware. Sarah sculpted everyone you see here on this shelf, including the minis. Um, I have many more Sarah Rose horses who are not here right now. Some are out for repairs. Um, some are getting painted. Sarah Rose has some beautiful sculpts, and not only does Sarah Rose have some beautiful sculpts, but I think Sarah Rose is a great place for people to start who are on a budget or who are maybe in high school or college and they need time payments because Sarah Rose policies are amazing. But we will get into that in a minute. So how do you find out about Sarah Rose? Well the first way you find out about Sarah Rose is you need to sign up for her newsletter. Yes, just like Lynn Fraley, she has a newsletter. Again, by signing up for her newsletter you are not signing up to agree to purchase anything. You are just going to get updates. So it's up to you what you buy and what you don't buy. People in her newsletter are going to get updates about what she's working on, about things, when they're going to come out, the dates they're going to come out, and then you will also get like an earlier period to order from Sarah Rose than like people on Model Horse sales pages will, which can help you a lot when it comes down to shipping, which we'll talk about a little later on. <clears throat> so joining her newsletter is the best place to start. That is the best way to keep updated about what is going on with Sarah Rose, what additions she has, and everything else. Sarah Rose does sculpt in all sizes, traditional, classic, and mini. Um, and Sarah Rose has always taken time payments even on her traditionals. Now, that is one of my favorite things about Sarah Rose, is that Sarah Rose does allow time payments on her horses. And I quote from her website that her time payment policy says, I happily accept time payments in whatever amount and length works for you. So, she's a really great person to purchase your resins from because if you're really on a budget and you know you can't commit to you know whatever it's broken down for three months, six months, however the other time payment plans are broken down, you set your own time payment plan. And I have to commend Sarah for doing this because it's got to be hard for her to keep up with. Because um, she even does this on her minis. You can even do time payments on her mini resins. Um, and like her things say, you can send any amount of payment and take as long as you need. You have to commend an artist for being willing to do that because that's a lot of bookkeeping. Um, that's putting a lot of trust in people. I mean, it is just an amazing policy. That is why I actually have so many Sarah Rose resins is because when I was in college and I was in high school and I could only afford like a payment here and a payment there, Sarah Rose was always one I gravitated to because her policies worked so well for me. So once you order from Sarah, you have a couple different methods when you order from Sarah. You have, um, you can order a raw resin and what a raw resin means is she's not going to do any of the cleanup work, she's literally going to cast it and send it to you. I don't have any raw resins but they're rougher. They have a sprue and everything and they're not awful. Um, they're actually still a pretty good quality. It just requires a lot more prepping. Um, and some artists, like some painting artists, like if you're not going to paint for yourself, do not like prepping those. Um, so keep that in mind. But if you order a raw resin, the advantage is that you usually get a pretty hefty discount on minis. I think it can be anywhere up to $20 and on I don't quote me, but I think on traditionals it can be anywhere up to $50, but either way you're going to save some money if you order a raw resin. You can also order a cleaned up resin, um, and if you order a cleaned up resin, I don't have an unpainted Sarah Rose, but essentially for a cleaned up resin you're going to get one like this. 
where most of the prepping has been done already. I'll roll, not prepping, but the cleanup work, and you're just going to have to do the final prepping. But if you don't know, resins, like, let's see if it'll focus. If you see that little spot in her belly, that's where her sprue was, and Morgan has already sanded it off and everything else. If you order a raw resin from Sarah Rose, you're going to have to sand that sprue off yourself. But, like I said, the advantage to that is you could possibly save yourself some money by ordering a raw resin. Sarah Rose's cleaned up resins are very clean. They're very good. Um, they're amazing quality and pretty easy to prep. Um, so there's that. Now, shipping from Sarah, once you've ordered your resin, once you have paid in full, you go on her shipping queue. Now... I know a lot of people say when I do these videos they want me to address any cons. I think the only con you have from Sarah Rose is that you might have to wait a little bit for your resin, but that's not even really a con, that's just kind of something that happens no matter who you're working with. Um, Sarah does do open editions, so what that means is Sarah is going to leave her resin open for, like I think usually she does a year going to leave her resins open for a year and she's going to cast as ordered. Well, at the beginning of the edition, orders are crazy. So if you ever watch Sarah's shipping queue right at the beginning of her release, um, it's just order after order after order and some people are ordering five and some people are ordering eight. I mean, it can be a lot. So if you're starting to order at the beginning of the edition, you need to pay attention to the shipping queue so that you don't have to keep bugging about where you are because she keeps it updated and she'll keep it updated when it's shipped and everything and where you are in the shipping queue so you can kind of hopefully get an idea of when yours is to come. Um, I've never had the weight just be outrageous for a Sarah Rose resin. I mean, I think they are extremely timely as far as the fact that she's casting them um, as ordered and everything. So I would not consider it a con, but that's the only thing I can think of that might get to some people. If you're not wanting to wait, if you're wanting it right then, you know, you're probably going to need to wait till closer to the end of the, end of the edition where she's kind of already caught up on the casting. So, like I said though, usually her shipping queue, you can um, find it in the newsletter even if you haven't ordered. You can still look at the shipping queue because it's just based off of initials and everything. Um, so you can kind of get a gauge as to where she is in the casting process and if you want to order or not or if you want to wait for a painted one to come out or whatever. Um, so Sarah Rose has sculpted some amazing sculpts. Uh, she has done Lone Star, which a lot of people know, and she has done the Rose Rainer. Now one thing Sarah Rose does do is that Sh Sarah, oh, Sarah will do many versions of her already done traditional resins. So like there is a mini Lone Star, there is a mini Khan, um, there is a mini Chemo that's coming out. So she does do shrinky version, versions, which means these mini versions of her traditionals. Something to be aware of that you, you know that the sculptor does. I think it's brilliant. I love it because I can't afford 10 Lone Stars. Um, traditional Lone Stars. It's not going to happen, but I would love to have that horse in 15 colors. So the minis come out and you can do that. You can get multiple, multiple colors. Um, as far as showing, Sarah Rose's horses show very well and that is extremely consistent. Um, obviously, yes, paint job plays a huge factor, but even still, Sarah has some amazing sculpts, so if you're looking to know that you're going to have to invest $300 in a paint job, a Sarah Rose Sculpt is a very good place to start because you're going to be providing a very nice body to um, the paint job. For those of you who like performance, a lot of Sarah Rose's horses are performance friendly. I think Sarah Rose knows that. I think Sarah Rose knows she has a big performance following um, because even when she sculpted this Rose Rainer, he's kind of got this main thing going on. Um, Sarah was still concerned about making sure it was performance friendly. Um, she does a, pay a lot of attention to uh, the forelocks and everything else for bridles, for bridle paths. Um, so with that being said, if you're a performance person, she is someone you really want to watch because, like I said, her sculpts are extremely performance friendly. 
Um, so you're kind of getting the whole package in one sculptor. You're getting an amazing halter horse. You're getting an amazing performance horse. Obviously, it's your job to get the right paint job on it to make it excel in whichever one of those divisions, but a great place to start. Also, on her mini resins, this is in another video, I think her mini resins are some of the best places to start. As I have said, uh, if you're new to artist resins and you're trying to start with minis, I say start with Sarah Rose. Sarah Rose has some of the... Um, some of my favorite minis and like I said you can do time payments straight from her so not only do you get the lower cost because you don't get the second hand price bump but you also can still do your time payments her minis are also extremely competitive um, working girl is not available from Sarah Rose anymore but she was for a year and this little mini right here is so competitive um, even with the big guys Working Girl is an extremely good show mini, um, and you can just see all the beautiful detail in a mini. I mean, this girl's face is just to die for. It doesn't matter how little she is. I mean, Sarah just still sculpted her with so much time and care. Um, so that's a little bit about Sarah Rose. Uh, I'm not sure if I've missed anything. If I have... As you know, you can always comment down below, um, and please comment down below who you want to see next. So in review, Sarah Rose, amazing sculptor, amazing halter horses, amazing performance horses, fantastic policies if you are needing tie payments. If you are one of those people who cannot afford to pay in full for something, and trust me, we've all been there, even if we've been able to pay in full at one point, we've all been to the point where we want something and can only make time payments affordable. Sarah Rose is going to be your sculptor to follow if you want to get into resins and get that price straight from the sculptor, but still need time payments. Her time payment policies are amazing. Um, hands down fantastic customer service. You don't have to worry about that. She does keep her people updated. She does respond to emails. Uh, amazing hobby member. Like I said, a lot of experience and everything else. For those of you who um, are new to Sarah Rose and don't know, she does currently have two mini editions open. The first mini edition she has open is Moxie. Now mine is painted, so you won't get one like this. You'll get a solid white unpainted one if you were to order from her. But this is Moxie. This is Sarah Rose Little Stock Horse Mariler available right now. I highly, highly suggest her. You could go many different breeds and many different colors with her. Beautiful mare. Um, honestly, again, another one where it's just a really cute face. Amazing detail all throughout. Um, and just a great little mini. So Moxie is available. Um, I'll put probably another little photo up there. Also Mini Kibo, Mini Kimosabi. So that is going to be a smaller version of a traditional she had. So she shrunk one of her traditional Arabians down and now casting it into a mini is also available. So I will put some photos right up here dancing around for you to look at. Um, and then I will link them below if you're interested in checking them out. Um, and, oh, the last thing I know I forgot to cover. Sarah Rose does allow changes on her resins. You can re-sculpt them. Um, you can put your own little special touch on them and everything else. Unlike, you know, we talked about in the Lynn Fraley video where you can only do manes and tails. Sarah Rose doesn't hold any of those rights. You're free to change it and alter it. Um, as long as you don't recast it. That's her only rule. So like for instance my Miss America if you so let's see if I can get a picture of Miss America right here. Like a normal Sarah Rose Miss America. Mm, we'll see if I made that happen. If not you'll have to google for it. But I did it in the last video so hopefully I can do it again. And now this is my Miss America. She has a changed headset, mane, and tail. So as you can see, she is different from Sarah Rose's original Miss America. And it is allowed, because Sarah does allow it. The only thing I could not do, which, I mean, obviously it's painted now, so it's not happening. But the only thing I could not do is get changes done to a, a resin by Sarah Rose and then um, 
cast copies of it or claim it to be fully your own work. You need to give cre Sarah credit for the base sculpt and then give the remaking artist credit for the work they've done. So, great policies. Um, I really hope this helped. If you kind of wanted a brief on Sarah Rose and you're trying to figure out if she works for you or not, let me know who you want to see next below. Again, I don't have to have the resins by them in order to do a review by them. It does help because I can give you opinions, but um, we still have many different resin or artists we can do. We have Stacey Tomlinson, Bridget Eberl, Sarah Mink, Amelia Carilla, Morgan Kilborn, um, Maggie Bennett. I mean, I can go on for days. So please comment below who you want to see next. Um, like this video if you think it helped. You can comment any critiques in the video that you think um, I need to be doing for future videos. I am fine with that. Um, I've said um so many times in this yes, video. So, oh, Siri was talking to me there. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, I will hopefully have the next one done in the next few days once I see what people want to see next. So thank you guys and have a good day.